published in the recent journal of phase equilibria and diffusion, a team of Penn State researchers has developed a theory of entropy to explain and then predict the particular behavior of materials, Xentropy. You may ask, what is the Xentropy? By checking the Xentropy word online, you may think that Xentropy comes from Zen and Entropy, where the term Zen is derived from Buddhism doctrine that enlightenment can be obtained through direct intuitive insight. However, this Xentropy is not that Xentropy. Simply put, here, Xentropy is a play on entropy. Here the Xentropy theory integrates entropy at multi-scale levels. The term Z is suggested by scientists for the partition function with the meaning of sum over states, that is, the Z stands sum in German coined by physicist Max Planck. You may ask, why the Xentropy? It is well known that entropy is a concept central to the second law of thermodynamics that expresses the measure of the disorder of a system that occurs over some time when there is no energy applied to keep order in the system. A challenge in materials design is that in both natural and man-made materials, volume sometimes decreases or increases with increasing temperature. While some specific materials have mechanical explanations for this phenomenon, a general understanding of why this sometimes happens remains lacking. Scientists have developed this entropy theory to explain and predict such materials' behavior. Think of a playroom in a preschool, if no energy is put into keeping it tidy, it quickly becomes disordered with toys all over the floor, a state of high entropy. If energy is put in via cleaning up and organizing the room once the children leave, the room returns to a state of order and low entropy. Xentropy theory notes that the thermodynamic relationship of thermal expansion, when the volume increases due to higher temperature, is equal to the negative derivative of entropy concerning pressure, that is, the entropy of most material systems decreases with an increase in pressure. This enables Xentropy theory to predict the change of volume as a function of temperature at a multi-scale level, meaning the different scales within a system. Every state of matter has its own entropy, and various parts of a system have their own entropy. So that is what the Xentropy equation is about, stacking them together. It creates a partition function that is the sum of all the entropy scales, professor of materials science and engineering and primary investigator in the study, Zi Kui Lu, said, when we talk about the configuration entropy, different ways particles rearrange within a system, that entropy is only part of the system's entropy. So, you have to add the entropy of individual components of that system into the equation, and then you consider the different scales, the universe, the earth, the people, the materials, these are different scales within different systems. It is believed that Xentropy may be able to predict anomalies of other physical properties of phases beyond volume. This is because the responses of a system to external stimuli are driven by entropy. Macroscopic functionalities of materials stem from assemblies of microscopic states at all scales and below the scale of the macroscopic state of the investigation. These functionalities are challenging to predict because only one or a few microstates can be considered in a typical computational approach such as the predictive from the beginning calculations, which help determine the fundamental properties of materials. This challenge becomes acute in materials with multiple phase transitions, which are processes that convert matter from one state to another, such as vaporization of a liquid, this is often where the most transformative functionalities exist, such as superconductivity and giant electromechanical response. Xentropy theory stacks these different scales into an entropy theory that encompasses the different elements of an entire system, presenting a nested formula for the entropy of complex multi-scale systems. You have these different scales, and you can stack them up with Xentropy theory, Lu said. For example, atoms as a vibrational property, that's low scale, then you have electronic interaction, that even lower scale. So now, how do you stack them together to cover the entire system? So that is what the Xentropy equation is about stacking them together. It creates a partition function that is the sum of all the entropy scales. The Xentropy theory has the potential to be applied to larger systems because entropy drives changes in all systems whether they are black holes, planets, societies or forests. This approach has been something Lu's lab has worked on for more than 10 years in five different published studies. The idea actually became very simple after we studied it and understood it. Xentropy can potentially change the way materials are designed, especially those that are part of systems that are exposed to higher temperatures. These temperatures, given thermal expansion, could cause issues if the materials expand. This has the potential to enable the fundamental understanding and design of materials with emergent properties, such as new superconductors and new ferroelectric materials that could potentially lead to new classes of electronics. Also, other applications such as designing better structural materials that withstand higher temperatures are also possible. While there are benefits for society, researchers could apply Xentropy to multiple fields. 
This is because of how entropy is present in all systems. The entropy theory has the potential to be applied to larger systems because entropy drives changes in all systems whether they are black holes, planets, societies or forests.